of his hands and stood on the top of his shoes. He smiled at me with all his heart and then gently hummed a tune. And we moved backward and forward. Oh, such a simple thing. And in that moment, I learned about love and the peace that love can bring. Oh, I'm dancing with my father, making circles in the room. Yes, I'm dancing with my father by the light of the moon. I'm dancing, I'm dancing, I'm dancing with him. has a very distinct voice. Um, I think I could pick him out no matter where I was if he was talking. He was uh, six foot four, blonde, blue eyed, um, just a monster of a man. I've always seen him like the Latino version of John Wayne. <laughs> My dad was a tall man. He was very thin, had kind of a long, thin face. Dad was an adventuresome, kind, generous, I always thought my dad looked like Perry Mason. <laughs> he always has a joke for you. Might be a little bit corny, but you know, that's him. He has the kind of laugh where if he laughs, everybody in the room is laughing. Gets along well with everyone. You know, just a very pleasant personality. My dad is, he's always been to me like my rock. I remember he was always like, made sure that he caught up on my day or the week. He was just always there. A lot of times he wore a hat. And so as a little child, I remember looking up and it's like looking up at a tall tower with this kind of overhang over it. Always working 24 hours a day in his business. So he'd come and go from home. And, but there was a sense of stability that he brought to our family. I knew my dad loved me since a, from an early age because he did little things to show me that this is love. Like just playing with me in the yard, that showed me he cared. Um, not so, He wasn't one, he'd say I love you once in a while, it, not a really huggy, emotional uh, type of family, but by being there and asking me what made me happy or giving me things that he knew that uh, would be pleasing. Always being willing to sit down and have a conversation with me, that's how I really knew that he loved me and that he was always going to be there for me. We were having problems in school with a, a certain class or something, then he would say, you know, well next time when you feel like you're having a hard time, you know you can come to me and I want to be able to help you. And I learned that I can trust him. So when I was little, my dad was very loving. He was very, uh, you know, he hugged me all the time and he always told me that he loved me. He kissed me, you know. My sister and I were treated like little princesses. <laughs> he, um, you know, he was uh, very, very, very loving and, and my sister and I could do no wrong. Um, we, uh, I know that I was the apple of his eye. I was his firstborn daughter and my mom always told me stories of when I was born. He was at the hospital every day, you know, looking at me and and uh, he would always say, you know, my baby has the biggest eyes. <laughs> he was very, very, very loving and I always knew that he loved me. As a small child, he made me feel safe. He made me feel loved and he made me feel that I, that I could do anything. I always, you know, I, I, I think it's one of the reasons I did well in school. I mean, I was a, I mean, I was a straight A student, I was, and um, I always felt that there was nothing I couldn't accomplish. He, he inspired me. I've always been really close with my dad. Um, going all the way back to my earliest memories, he read to me every night before 
I went to bed. And I'm not talking about picture books or, you know, small board books. I'm talking about Anne of Green Gables and chapter books. He would read me a chapter until I fell asleep. He would make everything a game. So um, if we were stuck on the side of the road because of car trouble, he would come up with an I Spy game or a rhyming game or a memory game. Um, and that's pretty typical of, of how our life was, all, always making um, good of even the bad times. Every major event in my life he's been a part of. He's, first of all, he's a people person, so he's very caring with whomever he meets. He's, he's very um, personable. You feel like he's just um, talking to you. There's no one else, when, usually when he's talking to you. And so I feel really lucky in that you know, that relationship that my dad has with everyone, I get to have have more frequently, more one-on-one um, -on -one, one time with him. And as I was growing up, he, he was, he's always, always been there. My dad um, is the only driver of my parents, so my mom doesn't drive, so he had to take us everywhere. So he actually did a lot of things with us. I mean, just even going to, um, to McDonald's for a Happy Meal, you know, it was him, or, you know, and going again to the park, or, you know, anywhere to um, parent-teacher conferences. It was really my dad who came along. Sometimes my mom would come, but she was always more at home. So uh, my dad was um, always the one who took me places and was there with me, met my teachers. Um, so it was my dad who was really involved in my academic life. What I think of the vision of my dad, I always think of somebody that uh, reinforced education on us. Since I was a kid, I remember him. The first book that I remember that I studied was a math book that he made for us. And then also a book that said, A apple, B boy, something like that. And then the vision was always, he wanted us to be successful and work hard. And he always said, education is the way that you can get into a better place. He did special things with me. I had an interest in horses at that time and he followed that passion with me and gave me opportunities to have a horse and um, went to all the horse shows with me and and this was as he was older in my eyes you know who knows it was he was probably 50 or in his early 60s and we went um, fly, he took me flying every day now that I'm thinking about it he had a joint little tiny airplane and uh, would fly around Merced County every day and do touch and goes after school. I can't pinpoint just one thing. It's like a million little things, you know, from something as small as like my love of movies. You know, that's totally my dad. Um, liking a good story, uh, totally my dad. Um, holding myself accountable for my actions. Um, always striving to do better, to learn more, to educate myself, being in tune with um, what my family needs, having a relationship with, um, with God. Um, those are all main influences that I think uh, he really shaped those things in my life. Uh, the personality traits that I get from my dad is like my sarcastic sense of humor. Um, he's pretty funny, like I said, hardworking, and another one is just listening. No matter what, I'm willing to listen to someone and give them advice if they want, and if not, I'll just be the sounding board. What I see in myself from my dad are uh, some stubbornness, <laughs> not a whole lot, not like him, <laughs> but some stubbornness, um, and, and uh, that work ethic that he taught us, just, uh, you know, uh, not giving up, not giving up. In, in whatever I do. I, I, I didn't see him give up. I didn't see him give up on, on his family, on, 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 uh, on his work. And, and um, so I think that probably, you know, is something that I've taken from him and I really uh, appreciate that. What I see of my dad in me is probably that um, determination that if I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it right. Um, I'm going to take whatever time it takes and whatever detail it takes and however much energy it takes to make it right. And I do think I learned that from him. The good qualities, like I said, is I'm very goal-oriented. I'm hardworking. 
I, I'm, I know what I want and I get it. And that's how my dad is. Every time he wants something, he gets it. And he has always been successful. And that's how what I believe in and that's what I do. To understand the influence that my dad had on my life, it's important to understand the influence that his father had on his life. And his father died when he was very young. I'm not sure how old, maybe 10 or 11. And in those days, there was no support system for a widow. And my grandmother had five children and she was pregnant when her husband died. And so they were all very young and it was just expected that the older boys would drop out of school. And he never had the opportunity to go back to school. He never graduated from high school. He was very learned in the sense that he read and he studied and he was edu a self-educated man, but he had no formal education. And so that was what he talked to me about constantly, was you've got to get an education, you've got to get an education. And so I never questioned that. I just carried that idea forward. My dad, it was more of a, he helped me think for myself type thing. So it wasn't so much of like, how would my dad feel about the situation I'm in? More like, he gave me the confidence and instilled in me these values and then I went off the values. If I was put in a situation I didn't like, I think it's because of him I had the confidence to be like, no, I don't want to deal with this. And then also during my teen years, he was always there with advice whether you ask for it or not sometimes, but always like if I had a problem, I knew I could go to him and he would help me find a solution. My dad instilled in me probably a sense of work ethic, always one of looking for um, a career with stability that I could rely on uh, if I worked hard, that my career would bring me uh, support that I would need throughout my life. Certainly I chose a career path that followed his, uh, served some of the county programs that he did as public guardian, conservator, public administrator, and working with adults and seniors as well as children. Um, and I think he brought that public service to me and I was able to follow uh, in his footsteps. My dad's um, influence on my life as a child and growing up and the potential of disappointing him um, I think I always think that in the back of my mind if, you know, when I'm doing things or if I'm trying to do something or, or planning something, I always think about what would my dad, what, what would my dad have wanted me to do or how would my dad have wanted me to, to do, you know, to do that. My father probably helped create a very artistic woman who is continually looking and examining life and wanting to create art that has a spiritual basis. I think a lot of my looking at this, my spiritual development uh, came out of my father seeking his own spiritual spirituality. The way I see my dad's uh, influence in my relationship with men, and I've had two husbands in my lifetime, and both of them are very intelligent, very honest, very compassionate people. And uh, I think from the point of view of character and um, devotedness and the, just the quality of human being, they're very much like him. I expect that um I expect them to be like my dad in some ways, in the sense of the, the the older dad, not the younger dad that I didn't quite understand. But as I've gotten older, I mean, I my dad, my dad's work ethic, my dad, the nice, the the person I've I've grown to know, or the person I had grown to know as my kids' as grandfather, that person who I I truly, truly, I I, I he's kind of like my, my a hero in some ways to me. Um, I know that. I, I look for those traits, and I have looked for those traits in, in mates and in people that I actually befriend or, or what have you, because it's, it's something that I value. He was an active part in my life. I knew how important it was to pick 
a partner who was going to be an active part in our children's life. My parents were divorced, so I wanted to pick somebody that I could see myself living a long time with and growing with and not experiencing the things that my dad and mom experienced in their relationship. So he influenced me that way as well. well. When I was in high school, the way that my dad influenced my relationships in high school, especially with my boyfriend, was I couldn't settle for anyone less. They had to be hardworking. They had to basically listen and care and not so much, I don't have to be the center of attention, but they should pay attention. Um, and so I ended up like breaking up with one of my boyfriends because he didn't stand up for me, he didn't listen, and he was not a hard worker, and that wasn't okay with me. I believe my dad's relationship with me had a lot of influence about my expectation of men. Because I've been with Flip for 36 years, happily married, um, I think that was very successful. And I think it was the respect and commitment that my dad always instilled in relationships. He showed me that a man should respect you no matter what. They should not abuse you. They should treat you right. They should not lie to you. And they should treat you like a princess. If they don't treat you, that's not the man for you. And those were the standards that I live with now. I think my life would have been quite different had my dad not been so involved. And I think it would have been easy for him to not be as involved as he was, which makes me, just now thinking of it, appreciate him so much more. Um, my dad was always a really nice balance for the fun-loving and appreciate the fun-loving, but also getting down to business. He provided me with that balance from an early age. Had I not had that, I, I may not be the person that I am today. I probably wouldn't be. I just, I, I can't even imagine not having him in my life. That's the truth. The impact would be just, I mean, I just think I'd be somewhere completely different. I mean, the reality of it is, is that, I mean, all of the things that are, that are good in my life, the, the work ethic, the ability, you know, going, you know, going to college even. I mean, all of the things that happened in my life that are positive happened because of my, of my dad's influence. I mean, that's the truth. And so my mom couldn't handle it. So I probably would have been in foster care. I, I mean, really. So who knows where that would have landed me. Boy, it would, if my dad wasn't here, it would be very empty. I know, very empty. Because he was kind of the centerpiece of our, of our life. If my dad wasn't involved in my life, I would not be sitting in this chair today because it's because of my dad I have confidence, I know what I want to do in life, and he gave me that future that said, you know what, just go fly and do what you need to do. If I didn't have my dad, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> it wouldn't be like this. I'm just fortunate to have him. If I didn't have my dad, I don't know where I would be. Um, because he, he was so involved in my life and even in ways that he probably didn't, doesn't even know. Uh, I, <laughs> I don't know what I would do. <laughs> um, I don't know who would teach me things. I don't know if, um, my mom could do it alone. I can't imagine what it would be like. I can't, I can't, because I was one of the lucky ones that I, I had my dad all through my childhood and through my adulthood. My dad is dedicated. My dad is my hero. My dad is funny. My dad is strong. My dad was honest. My dad is a visionary. My dad is spiritual. My dad is amazing. My dad is young at heart. My dad was loving. My dad is caring. My dad is my guidance. My dad is love. My dad is tough. My dad doesn't give up. My dad was kind. My dad is fun loving. My dad is sensitive. My dad is confident. 
My dad is humble. My dad was my biggest fan. My dad is just a wonderful person to be around. One, two, three, one, two, three. 